So we're starting by creating a new project. We give it the name of RSS Reader and uh, we're resizing a bit the design surface. We'll start by creating a new animation to serve as a welcome screen on application. We're dragging a text block and we're going to transform it a bit for some seconds. Right now we're changing the text, so to write uh, welcome. Uh, we're pressing F6 to switch to the designer to the animation workspace and uh, we're dragging now the cursor to um, switch to 1.7 1.5 seconds. We are resizing the text block a bit and rotating it, rotating it, changing a bit the color. And uh, right now what we want to do is go to the behaviors pane to select um, uh, the control storyboard action behavior. Uh, this will serve in order to run the animation when the, page, the first page is loaded. So uh, we handle the loaded event and we select the animation to the storyboard to play. So then we'll create another page that will serve as uh, the reading page of our application, the page that uh, the RSS feeds will be displayed. So we're creating a new page. And in the first page, we're a new, we are going to use a navigate to page behavior in order to have uh, the navi navigation to the reader page when the animation is completed. So we're, not, we're right now going to use a Silverlight 3DLL to use it as a, a class to parse the RSS feed. We're using the data template to create a new syndication feed, which will be the class that will host uh, our our, our um, items from the from the RSS feed. And uh, we're going to drag and drop the items property in order to create a list box that will serve as the point that uh, our RSS feeds will be displayed. Um, we're going to give a name to the list box in order to be able to data bind into it and we're going to template the um, item template in order to change the way that uh, the items are displayed so we're going to use data binding the first text block will display the text of uh, the title excuse me of uh, its uh, rss feed item and then we're going to drag and drop some more properties here on the page. We're going to use summary of the text. By dragging and dropping it onto the surface, another text block will be, will be, um, will be created that is directly data bound to the, um, to the summary of the RSS feed. And we're going to use a hyperlink button that will uh, be used as a navigation mechanism to the web page of the RSS feed. So we're going to get the, the we're going to bind the navigate URI item to the absolute URI path of the of the RSS feed and we're using going to use a custom expression blank in order to have this displayed on a browser window. So right now we're going to navigate to Visual Studio in order to write some code to get and display the RSS feed. Uh, I'm going to copy paste it here for brevity. First of all, I'm going to create the event handler when the page is loaded. Load the animation. We're using a simple web client. It's connected to my blog, to the RSS feed. And right now, by pressing F5, we're going to run the application. And as you can see, the animation is running. And after, after a few seconds, all items are displayed on screen. Uh, we could use... Um, some wrapping on the text blocks in order you know to have the text displayed on the surface and as you can see by clicking on the hyperlink uh, web browser task opens and my blog is displayed